Hey everyone, it's Shelby. Welcome back to my channel and this week's meal plan. Friday night's grill night. We're having pub burgers. Saturday, we're going to grill some pork chops and I'll make some spinach, parmesan, orzo. It's a delicious recipe. If you haven't tried it, I'd highly recommend that one. And just saute some veggies. Sunday, I'm going to roast some Cornish game hens. I'm going to take a little help from Uncle Ben's wild rice and make like a stuffing, adding some mushrooms to it. It's a wonderful pantry hack. Cranberry sauce, asparagus, and then Monday breakfast for dinner, we're gonna have French toast, sausage egg casserole, some fruit, and then Tuesday I'm gonna make some tortilla soup. This is kind of a, a weeknight version. I make traditional tortilla soup where you take the whole chilies and you soak them and then you grind them and then you strain them. I just used um, chili powder uh, this week, but I'll link that other video if you wanna take a look at it. Uh, Wednesday, we're gonna have salmon and a lemon garlic aioli with asparagus. Can you tell asparagus is on sale? <laughs> and I wanna try my hand at some pho. I think I, I'm saying it right, pho. It's a Vietnamese beef broth that is seasoned with onions and garlic and ginger and shallots. It has cardamom, star anise, cinnamon, coriander seeds, and I think that's it. I might be missing something, but it's a really seasoned broth. They typically make it out of um, bones and it's a very clear broth, but I'm just gonna do it using some beef broth that I have in the freezer. I actually um, cooked it down the last time we bought a whole cow. And we're gonna have all of the toppings on it. I hope it comes out good. I'll put the recipe that kind of um, I drew inspiration from. And that's our plan for this week. Mainly, uh, we just need produce. <laughs> a little bit of dry things that I'm trying to get ahead on. And um, hopefully this will be like a almost like a two week uh, shopping trip. For dinner tonight, we grilled some cheeseburgers. We're having pub burgers for Friday night. T-G-I-F. For dinner tonight, we're grilling some pork chops with a maple syrup glaze. I'm making spinach Parmesan orzo with some sauteed veggies. In my pan, I have a tablespoon of olive oil. I cooked an onion that I had diced. I added four cloves of garlic and about one and a half tablespoons of flour. I'm just gonna let the flour cook for a minute or so. Now I'm gonna add about one and a fourth cups. You could use whole milk, light cream, And we'll bring this back up to temperature. I forgot to mention I seasoned the onion with salt, pepper, and red pepper flakes. Okay, the um, milk has come up to a little simmer. I added three ounces of Parmesan cheese, turned the heat off, and this is going to be the sauce for the orzo. In the meantime, I boiled a pound of orzo, drained it, added it to the sauce, I also added six ounces of fresh spinach. I'm gonna give this a big stir. The spinach is gonna be um, wilted just by the heat of the orso. And that's what the orso spinach Parmesan dish is gonna look like. It tastes delicious. For dinner tonight, we're having the wild rice and mushroom stuffing in our Cornish game hens with asparagus and some cranberry sauce. Looks delish. I'm gonna use a couple of these boxes of long grain and wild rice. Then I'm gonna add two of these eight ounce cans of mushrooms. I'm gonna make like a little stuffing that I can stuff the Cornish game hens with. I made the rice with the mushrooms and I let it 
sit with the top on after it was finished cooking for about 10 minutes so it could steam. And now I'm going to uh, just fill the Cornish game hens with this stuffing. And then after you stuff all the Cornish game hens, um, each of those packages will stuff three. So um, I use two of them because we're doing six. Go ahead and uh, drizzle some olive oil on top, a little salt and pepper. After you season the Cornish game hens with the salt and pepper, I went ahead and I tied the legs together. It just forms a more uniform ball so that the meat will cook more evenly. I'm gonna put this in a 425 degree oven. I forgot to mention that I cooked these for an hour and a half. They take a little longer because they're stuffed, but they came out perfect. For dinner tonight, we're having breakfast. We made the sausage egg cheese bake with that pumpkin brioche, French toast, maple syrup. We have some blueberries and a banana, coffee and tea. We're having breakfast for dinner tonight. I browned up a pound of breakfast sausage. I have eight eggs, a half a cup of light cream, big handful of cheese, four ounces of diced Ortega chilies, Going to mix this all together, add salt and pepper. I just poured the egg mixture over the sausage into a 350 degree preheated oven for 50 to 60 minutes. I'm going to get the custard ready for the French toast. In my bowl, I have six eggs, a fourth a cup of sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, pinch of salt, and I'm going to add two cups of a light cream. We'll get this all mixed together. I have this pumpkin brioche that I got at Aldi's. I'm going to slice it and then get it into the custard. In my bowl, I'll start putting a couple of the uh, slices of bread and just let it kind of soak up all of the custard. About 10-15 seconds on each side. Then turn the toast and let it soak up on the other side. In my pan, I have a tablespoon of butter melted. We're just going to Put the French toast right in there, start cooking it. I have a whole chicken cooking in some water. I've seasoned it with a couple of bouillon cubes and I'm just gonna cook it until the meat is cooked through. I'll take it out and then just pick all the meat off the bones. The chicken out of the boiling water and I'm boiling the water to reduce it so I can concentrate the flavors a little bit. In my pot here I have onion, garlic, carrot, and celery. I'm cooking it in a tablespoon of olive oil. I picked all the meat off the, the chicken and I put it in with the carrots, onions, and celery. I'm going to add the reduced stock to the pot now. I added the stock, three tablespoons of ground New Mexico chili powder, and a tablespoon of cumin. And I tasted it uh, for salt and adjusted the salt. You can also um, bump it up if you want to a little bit by adding uh, another bouillon cube if you think it needs a little more chicken flavor. I cut some corn tortillas in strips and I'm cooking them in the hot oil till they get crispy and then putting them on a sheet tray and lightly salting them. Okay, so to plate up the soup, I just put some in a bowl, add a little bit of sour cream and I like to mix it in there. Then add a big handful of the tortilla strips. You kind of want some of them kind of hanging out the bowl. And I'll show you why in a minute. You need to take a little sprinkling of cotija cheese, sprinkle it on there. And then I put a little bit of shredded cheddar I make a pico de gallo and I add an avocado to it and put that right on top. And that's the chicken tortilla soup. Delish. When you're eating your soup, the pieces that are out are crunchy and the ones that are in the soup kind of absorb the soup. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. Delicious soup. Tonight's gonna be a really quick dinner. I have salmon that I'm just cooking in a little bit of butter, salt and pepper, and I have some asparagus that I'm just cooking in uh, hot water. I'm making a sauce for the salmon, 
And in my blender, I have about a half a cup of mayo, a few sprigs of dill, and two large cloves of garlic. And I'm going to add three of these slices preserved lemons in here and get everything all blended up. All right, to plate it, we're just going to take like a spoonful of that sauce we made, put it right on the plate. Next, just put the salmon and the asparagus on there. I'm just going to garnish with a little bit of lemon and dill. There's our dinner. 10 minute dinner. In my pot, I have some beef broth. I tried to do like a quick pho. Traditionally, you cook the bones for about 15 minutes in hot boiling water and then you transfer them to a cold water and then add all the um, spices and things like charred onions, charred um, ginger, some garlic, and charred shallots. And then as far as spices, I added some coriander seed, some star anise, um, I think about three or four cloves, a tiny pinch of cinnamon. I added, let's see, what else did I put in there? I think that was it. I, uh, I'll put the rest of it in the description box. I might be missing a spice, but um, I didn't um, use the beef bo uh, bones. I just used beef stock just to kind of make it a weak night. Uh, doable recipe and the flavor in here it's been simmering for a couple hours is so wonderful it tastes so delicious just like the stock you get in the restaurant mm. oh I know the other spice I left out was some cardamom our toppings include bok choy some finely minced green onions some shredded carrots bean sprouts some sliced uh, little Thai chilies, limes, cilantro, and uh, Thai basil. I'm also gonna heat up these rice noodles in some hot water and have them ready to go. I just added some rice noodles to some boiling water. I'm gonna let these sit until they get soft, probably like 15 minutes. So to plate this up, I put some of the cooked noodles in a bowl and I added some very thinly sliced raw steak. And I'm just gonna put some of that hot broth on it and the steak is gonna cook. And then just add whatever toppings you like. I'm gonna add a little bit of everything, I think. that bok choy. This will kind of wilt down in the hot broth as well. A little bit of that Thai basil. And then I'm going to take a lime and just squeeze some of that lime juice on top. That's what we're having for dinner tonight. Oh. That is really delicious. I know it's not authentic in that, you know, I made it with the, the bones and cooked the broth all day, but for a weeknight, this has great flavor. And I'll definitely be making this again. I think you pronounce it pho. Well, that's our meal plan for this week. I hope you guys have a great week. Happy meal planning. Until the next video, talk to you guys later.